hello good evening students yesterday we have learnt the types of rotors as well as the equation for rotor individual emf frequency that is f dash equal to s times of f where s is known as slip and f is known as supply frequency or stator frequency once again we have to go for definition of slip and importance of slip how the slip value affects on the performance of motor <coughs> very basically when the stator winding is given to three phase ac supply three stator current draws from the main supply that is three stator currents are flowing in stator windings ir iy ib which produces three fluxes phi r phi y phi p hence the effect of all three fluxes one resultant magnetic field is developed this resultant magnetic field continuously rotates on the rotor so it is called rotating magnetic field it rotates with a speed of ns it is called synchronous speed which is imaginary part which rotates on the rotor conductor hence rotor conductor cuts the magnetic flux hence an emf is induced so the induction motor works on mutual induction principle which is very much analogous to transformer hence today we have to see what we mean from the slip and how it affects on the performance of motor the slip is defined as difference between synchronous speed ns and actual speed of the motor n is called slip it is expressed as percentage of synchronous speed so it is written as percentage slip s equal to ns minus n divided by ns into 100 where n is known as rotor speed or actual speed of motor and ns is known as synchronous speed which is given by ns equal to 120 f by p f is known as supply frequency p is known as number of poles the slip is denoted by s it may be expressed as percentage slip or fractional value of slip fractional value of slip always less than 1 two points we have to remember the slip of induction motor depends upon load condition on the motor and speed of the motor as the load increases speed of the motor decreases corresponding slip also decreases so what is the importance of slip how it affects on the performance of motor number 1 we have to discuss different conditions of slip first we have to consider slip equal to 1 slip equal to 1 that means 100% slip at this condition the induction motor is at rest hence it is not rotating three phase ac supply is given to stator winding rotating magnetic field is developed which rotates on the rotor conductor emf is induced in the rotor but motor is not started at this condition speed of the motor that is n equal to 0 the induced emf in the rotor is maximum consequently the slip developed is also maximum that is 100% or 1 this condition is referred as transformer behavior or transformer analogy there is a existence of relative speed between ns minus n and one more condition which is observed that stator frequency equal to rotor induced emf frequency that is f equal to f dash second condition we have to discuss 
when s equal to 0. At this condition, the induction motor runs with a equal to synchronous speed that is n equal to n s speed of the motor n equal to n s. The relative velocity between rotating magnetic field speed and actual speed of the rotor is goes on decreasing. As the n s minus n goes on decreasing finally, it reaches 0. When it reaches 0, the speed of the motor is equal to synchronous speed n equal to n s. At this condition, no EMF is induced in the rotor circuit. Hence, no torque is developed in rotor. Finally, motor stops from the running condition, but it is practically impossible condition because always motor runs less than synchronous speed. N s is always greater, N is always smaller, but practically it is impossible condition. When slip is less than 1, it is also another possible condition number 3. At this condition what happens? Induction motor runs with a speed of n rpm. Induction motor runs with n rpm, there is a existence of synchronous speed of n s. Hence, n is always less than n s or n s is greater than n. Hence, there is a existence of relative velocity or relative speed between rotating magnetic field and rotor exists. See, all of you understand one point very clearly. The relative velocity between n s minus n should exist. Hence, the motor is running. If it not exist, motor not runs that what we have seen in second condition. Hence, there is a difference between n s minus n exists. The slip value depends upon load condition. Hence, uh, the slip goes on decreasing from the maximum condition. Hence, the slip value is less than 1. At this situation, rotor induced EMF frequency is equal to slip times supply frequency that is f dash equal to s into f. These all three conditions of slip impact on performance of motor. Sir, please try to understand. Thank you to one and all.